Today I'd like to show you the identity related aspects of digitally onboarding a new car policy holder. It starts with collecting the bare minimal data needed to securely store the quote for the prospect, so you can revisit it at a later stage. Once the quote is to his liking, we will progressively establish a verified identity, proof of valid driver's license, and collect his bank details to be able to debit the premium. Please meet Edward. Edward is a millennial who is skimming the internet for new car insurance. He stumbles on your site and shows interest in your simulator app and decides to request a quote. So what he does, he provides his license plate number, <coughs> allowing you to identify his car. He then chooses one of the uh, plans at offer. And based on that, <coughs> you can start building a quote. Edward expects an optimal user experience, while you want to be able to communicate with Edward and follow up on your prospect through email. So your site presents a very lightweight registration form and asks Edward to provide his email address and consent to receiving commercial offers, as well as your privacy policy. Optionally, you could verify the email address straight away or do so on the next visit of Edward. <coughs> Edward provides his details and consents to receiving the offers as well as your privacy policy. Then he goes to his quote. Edward is now addressable via email, and he can revisit the quote at a later stage. He likes your quote, but obviously wants to compare it, so what he does, he saves it for later and navigates away. A couple of days later, Edward decides to visit your site again and to review the quote. He chooses to go to the quotation engine and sees that he can actually sign in. So he does so. He chooses to sign in and is asked to provide the email address that he provided earlier. By doing so, our system sends him an email to allow him to authenticate passwordless to your quotation engine. Edward receives the email, follows the link that has been presented to him, and is back in your quotation engine to where the quote was stored before. If he'd like, he can change some of his simulations, or he can decide to buy the insurance. Given your quote is convincing, Edward decides to actually buy the policy. Now you want to know who you're dealing with. So far, it's been only been the prospect. Now you want to know that Edward is who he claims to be. So the underwriting app takes Edward to a list of identity schemes that are trusted by your organization. The shown options here are anticipated to be in line with the upcoming AIDAS 2.0 regulation, as well as a Dutch WDO. Which of those are available is something that we can configure in alignment with your requirements. In this case, <coughs> Edward decides to identify himself with It's Me. So what he does, he requests a session with It's Me. He starts the It's Me app that you can see on my phone as well. signs into the app, sees what data is being requested of him, and confirms that he would like to share that information. In full transparency, we're going to show him which data is going to be shared with the portal. And given this information is from a trusted identity verification system, you can safely enhance his profile and progressively establish his identity based on the data provided by the government. The next thing that Edward needs to do is to prove that he actually has a valid driver's license. That's to meet the policy conditions. This requires getting a claim from an identity proofing service that validates a driver's license based on document enrollment. And since we want to offer Edward a frictionless journey, we will ask for the same, uh, in the same run, we will ask for the bank details as well so we can deduct his premium. So again, we show him a list of trusted identity providers and asked to choose one of them. Edward has enrolled his driver's license as well as his bank details in an app called DataKeeper. So we're going to choose that one for this iteration. He follows the on-screen process where QR code is being presented, which he's going to scan. Then he can explicitly consent on sharing his driver's license and bank detail. <coughs> By doing so, the data is being transferred to the profile of Edward, and we can establish a verified identity of Edward. And that's it. Now we're done. All conditions are met, and Edward can start driving a shiny new Tesla. But there's more to it. People, opinions, as well as services change. 
and the consents that Edward provided in the beginning aren't a permanent arrangement. Making it easy for the user to control the personal data is something that regulators expect. Edward can easily view and see his personal data collected by you in a privacy policy that you can enter, that you can integrate in your portal just like this one. He can not only edit some of his data, but he can also see all the provided information that we collected so far and the original source of that information. We also give him the opportunity to look at the consents that he gave and allow him to change his mind and change the consents given. And that is what we call trust and transparency.